I've never seen two fighters ready and wanting to attack on site. Hate's a very strong word. It's not used lightly. This is deep. This is a deep, deep hatred. I underestimated Jack hugely in the last fight. Let's not forget, no one gave Jack a chance in that first fight, including myself. And that was the mistake that I made. And still undisputed super lightweight champion of the world! I hated the decision. It didn't feel good. And I'm doing everything I can to put it right on Saturday. I don't like him, and it is what it is. You know, he can he can say what he wants, he can feel what he wants. You look like a baggage. Get away from your crayons, bro. You look like a baggage. Hey, you're a little fucking one pea brain that you've got. Obviously, he believes he won the fight still, which uh, I disagree with, and, and so does the whole country. As much as it's a sport, it's it's more personal this time. Life's thrown a lot of things at me, you know, and, and there's attributes of boxing has taught me and, and, my, and my upbringing has taught me with this the discipline and the self-respect has um, helped me carry things through. For Jack Catterall, it's moving into the mega fights. It's putting things right, you know, and as big as this will be for Jack Catterall in terms of landing him an even bigger fight in the 140 pound division, nothing will compare to putting things right. You know, as a kid, Growing up, you know, if I got beat to snakes and ladders by my mum and dad, man, the whole thing would go up in there. You know, let's play again, let's play again. I have to play until I won. You know, it was just the, it's just the competitive nature in me. So, for me, it's just the will to win. You know, I always want to win at anything. You know, I'm very, I'm very competitive. For Josh Taylor, it's about getting back to where he was. And whether he likes to admit it or not, probably putting things right as well. You know, he won't have been happy with his performance. There is, must be part of him that feels, maybe I didn't win that night. He'll never admit it. Yeah, well, I, had, I took my first loss in my last fight against Teofimo, so, yes, yeah, uh, one of the worst feelings in the world. For me, um, losing the 2010 Commonwealth Games final to Tom Stalker was a real sore one for me to take. It drove me on to the success that I've had, you know, because I didn't want to feel that again. You know, unfortunately, I felt that again on, on, in June last year, but. You know, I will be doing that again, especially against Jack. Yeah, I think it was the build-up to the first fight. There were things said and there was talk about fighting Crawford and fighting at 147, and I felt like Josh dismissed me. I was always confident in my ability, and I was turning up to Glasgow to win. I believe I did do that, but the fact that he showed no respect before the first fight is what I didn't like. I've never hated anyone in my life, so I certainly don't hate Jack, but he's not a guy that I would um, invite around to my house for a Sunday dinner. Yeah, I think this rivalry that me and Josh have got going on is good. It's healthy, it's good for boxing, and we both want to win on Saturday, so I think that's why tensions are running high. There's been a lot of needle, a lot of back and forth. I think, you know, for both men, it's an opportunity to really settle the score. I mean, you know, you have to say, Josh Taylor won the fight on paper. I feel, a lot of people feel, Jack Catchell won the fight. But really, I feel like, for both guys' career, no one will stop talking about that night in Scotland until we get this out of the way. And the truth is, no one knows what's going to happen on Saturday night. Could be a commanding Josh Taylor victory. Could be a Jack Catchell knockout. Could be more controversy. But we need this fight. British boxing needs this fight. And these two need this fight. As a kid and as a, a young, inspiring boxer coming up through the ranks, you want to be involved in these big fights. So. Yeah, absolutely, and that's why I'm just touching it there. I'm just enjoying the ride, and I can't wait. I'm enjoying every minute of it. Yeah, it's phenomenal, uh, the feelings walking to the ring, being in the dressing rooms, the big fight nights, and there's certainly a big fight for me, and I'm excited. That's what's kept me motivated for the last 12, 15 weeks. Yeah! You dream about fighting, challenging for world titles, but I didn't think I'd ever have that dance partner where we disagreed so much. It's new to me, but it's exciting. I don't like him, he doesn't like me, so what? We're going to fight on Saturday and I'm going to have fun. I beat Josh Taylor convincing on Saturday night. I can outbox him, I can outfight him and I can hurt him. I've won this fight so many times in my mind, over and over and over. i just got to go and do the physical part now. Josh Taylor is a prick. Nobody can rob me this time. You're finished. I wonder who told him to say that. <laughs> <laughs> 
pride, legacy, hatred, rivalry. I like to tell stories, and this is the easiest one to tell.